The manufacturing process begins with the cutting of raw material, typically steel, to form the shovel head. Large sheets or rolls of steel are measured and cut into appropriate sizes for the blade, known as blanks. Once the steel blanks are cut, they undergo a sharpening process. The edge of the shovel blade is ground to a fine, precise bevel. In the forming step, the flat steel blanks are shaped into the characteristic curved shovel head. This is done through a series of mechanical processes, including pressing and stamping. Large hydraulic presses apply immense pressure to mold the steel into the correct shovel head shape, ensuring the right curvature and depth. After forming, the shovel head is subjected to quenching, a heat treatment process that improves the hardness and durability of the steel. The shovel heads are heated to a high temperature and then rapidly cooled in water, oil, or air. Following the quenching step, a quality check is conducted to ensure that the steel has achieved the desired hardness and strength. This may involve testing the shovel head's hardness using devices like Rockwell hardness testers. After quenching, the steel is often too brittle, so it undergoes tempering to reduce brittleness while maintaining the necessary hardness. During tempering, the shovel heads are reheated to a lower temperature and then cooled again. Similar to quenching, the tempered shovel heads are subjected to a quality check. The next step involves acid cleaning. After cleaning, the shovel heads may need additional cutting or trimming to remove excess material or to create specific features, such as slots for attaching handles. The crimp manufacturing stage involves creating any additional metal fittings, such as the collar or socket that connects the handle to the shovel head. This part is essential for providing a strong and secure connection between the shovel's head and handle. During the welding step, the shovel head and handle are carefully joined together to form a strong, unified structure. The most common area for welding is where the shovel head socket, or collar, meets the handle, ensuring a secure attachment that can withstand heavy use. Depending on the design, additional reinforcements, such as metal plates or ribs, may be welded to the shovel head for extra strength and durability. The welding process typically involves using arc welding or MIG welding techniques, creating strong, durable joints that prevent separation under stress. Precision in welding is crucial, as improper welds can lead to weak points, reducing the tool's longevity and performance. After welding, the connections are inspected for structural integrity. Before painting and finishing, a thorough quality check for size and loading is conducted. The dimensions of the shovel are measured to ensure they meet the design specifications. After all structural components are verified, the shovel is prepared for the painting step. A coat of protective paint is applied to the metal surfaces to prevent rust and corrosion. This layer also enhances the tool's appearance. Paint is applied through spray guns or electrostatic painting methods, ensuring an even coat. Finally, the shovels are subjected to a durable repeat loading test where they are repeatedly tested under simulated working conditions to ensure long-term durability. The manufacturing process of shovels at Tongshan Glory Shovel Manufacturing Co. 
Limited, is a highly advanced and efficient system. Established in the early 1980s, the company has grown into a leading professional manufacturer of steel shovels and other garden tools. The facility covers a base of 36,000 square meters and has an annual output of 12 million items. The production process involves 13 advanced production lines, including three for spade shaping, two for hoe forging, five for CNC intelligent coating and painting, one for other forging and pressing, and two for wooden handle production. The company employs state-of-the-art equipment, such as CNC intelligent welding and forming machines, which ensure precision and consistency in the products. The raw materials, typically steel, undergo processes like shaping, forging, and pressing to create the shovel heads. These heads are then coated and painted using CNC technology to enhance durability and appearance. Wooden handles are produced and formed using intelligent CNC machines to ensure a comfortable and ergonomic fit for users. The company's shovels and tools are renowned for their strength and flexibility, with some products capable of bending up to 70 degrees without deforming. This superior quality has earned the company the Premium Quality Product of Hebei Province Award in 2001, Tongshan Glory Shovel Manufacturing exports its products globally, meeting the needs of the agricultural, gardening, and construction industries. The process begins with selecting a sheet of high-quality steel, often chosen for its strength, durability, and resistance to corrosion. The steel is usually supplied in large plates or coils. Using a stamping machine, the outline of the shovel's blade is cut out, referred to as the workpiece. Stamping is an efficient method to cut the steel into precise shapes quickly, ensuring consistency in size and form across multiple workpieces. After the workpiece is stamped, it is heated in a furnace to around 1,200 degrees Celsius, 2,192 degrees Fahrenheit a temperature where the steel becomes malleable without losing its structural integrity. This process, known as hot working, allows the steel to be shaped without cracking or weakening. Once the desired temperature is reached, the heated workpiece is transferred to a press forming machine while still red hot. In the press forming machine, immense pressure, sometimes several tons, is applied to the steel. This force molds the workpiece into the desired spade shape whether it's a flat blade for edging or a curved one for digging. The die in the press is designed to match the final contours of the shovel's blade, ensuring precise shaping. The process of press forming under heat also strengthens the steel by realigning its grain structure, enhancing its durability and toughness. This ensures the spade can withstand heavy use and impact during its lifetime. Once the spade blade is formed, it undergoes a crucial surface treatment. The blade is first sandblasted, where fine abrasive particles, such as sand or steel grit, are blasted at high speed onto the blade's surface. This process removes impurities like rust, scale, and heat marks from the earlier heating process, leaving the surface clean and smooth. Additionally, sandblasting roughens the surface microscopically, improving adhesion for subsequent coatings. Afterward, the blade is coated with a protective layer of paint, typically rust-resistant and weatherproof, to shield it from corrosion, ensuring long-term durability and resistance to environmental wear. The final step involves attaching the handle to the spade blade. The handle is typically made of wood, designed for strength and user comfort. It is securely fastened to the blade using rivets, screws, or epoxy, depending on the manufacturing process.
The manufacturing process of a trolley involves a series of specialized steps that transform raw materials into a functional product. Each stage plays a crucial role in ensuring quality and precision. The manufacturing begins with the shearing machine, where large sheets of metal are cut into specific sizes. This machine uses sharp blades to apply a shearing force, slicing through the material efficiently. The trimming machine plays a critical role in the manufacturing process by refining the edges of the sheared metal sheets. This machine employs precision cutting tools to remove rough edges, burrs, and any excess material that may have resulted from the shearing process. By ensuring that the components are uniform and smooth, the trimming machine facilitates easier assembly and better alignment of parts, reducing the risk of mechanical failure. Additionally, this step enhances safety by eliminating sharp edges, preventing potential injuries during handling and use. The beading machine is crucial for shaping the trimmed metal sheets, creating raised edges or beads along their length. This process not only enhances the trolley's aesthetic appeal, but also significantly increases its strength and rigidity. The beads act as reinforcements, distributing stress evenly across the metal and preventing deformation under load. By bolstering the structural integrity of high-stress areas, beading ensures that the trolley can withstand the rigors of use, ultimately extending its lifespan and reliability. Following beading, the components may require specific shapes or holes, which is where the circle cutting machine comes into play. This machine is designed to cut circular shapes out of the metal sheets. It can produce holes for wheels, handles, or other attachments. The next step involves the double cylinder deep draw press, which forms complex shapes by stretching the metal into a mold. This machine is particularly useful for creating the trolley body, ensuring that it has the desired depth and curvature. After forming, the trolley components are subjected to the hydraulic cutting press. This machine cuts and shapes the parts into their final dimensions using high-pressure hydraulic force. The precision cutting ensures that each component fits perfectly with others, which is crucial for overall functionality and assembly. Finally, the pipe bending machine is utilized to shape any necessary tubular components, such as handles or frames. This machine bends the metal pipes to the required angles and dimensions, ensuring that they integrate seamlessly with the trolley structure. Accurate bends are essential for both aesthetics and functionality, allowing the trolley to be ergonomically designed for easy handling. The manufacturing process of a wheel begins with cutting steel sheets into precise shapes, followed by shaping the rim and center hub using pressing machines. The components are then welded together for strength. After cleaning and surface treatment, wheels are coated for corrosion resistance. Finally, they undergo quality checks before being assembled with tires and ready for use. The final painting and installation process is crucial for ensuring the quality and durability of the manufactured wheel. Once the wheel components are assembled, they undergo a thorough cleaning to remove any oils, dust, or debris, ensuring optimal adhesion for the paint. Next, the wheels are treated with a phosphate solution to enhance corrosion resistance. After drying, the wheels are coated with a primer, which provides a solid base for the final paint layer. The primer is typically followed by multiple layers of high-quality paint applied through either spraying or dipping methods. This not only adds aesthetic appeal, but also provides protection against the elements, extending the wheel's lifespan. Once the painting is complete, the wheels are cured in an oven to ensure a hard, durable finish. After cooling, each wheel undergoes a final inspection for paint quality and overall integrity. Following quality checks, the wheels are installed on their respective trolleys or vehicles. 
This involves securely fastening the wheels to the axle and ensuring proper alignment and functionality. Once installed, the wheels are tested for performance before being packaged for distribution, ready to meet the demands of consumers in various industries.